What is going on YouTube? It's Flopfish here and welcome back to BGM. This is episode number 5 and we just finished the playoffs. We came in second or we lost in the second round so not bad at all considering we knocked off one top team. Um, let's go ahead and see who won it all here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's view the playoff tree right now. NHL. Actually we can just see it in the awards. The Winnipeg Jets end up sweeping it. No surprise there. They were full of firepower so... Um, I believe that Utica Comets won the AHL one. So let's go ahead and see the awards here for everything else. So Jets won the Stanley Cup. Predators won the President's Trophy. So he did knock off the top team in the NHL. That's something to be pretty proud about. Um, obviously they got the Clarence Campbells. Crosby got the Art Ross and the Hart. Uh, Suter got the Nor Norris. Gabbert got the Lady Bing. Uh, Tyler Toffoli, no surprise there, got the Calder. Uh, Con Smythe went to Backstrom. Vesna went to Anti Niemi. So we did get a trophy for our team. Pretty cool. Niemi did put his team on, or our team on his back. So that's pretty cool. Jennings went to Anderson. Mizero's got the Masterson. So that's kind of different. But Selkie goes to Datsuk. Uh, Lindsay goes to Anti Niemi. Wow. So he got MVP by the Players Association. Pretty cool there. So two trophies actually for our team. Tavares obviously got the Maurice Richard. And then AHL, I believe we just have the Calder Cup. Um, and yeah, so they won everything. Um, and I think we got, hey, we got the, we got a few, we got three trophies this year. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. I think, oh, wait, we have players? There's, oh wow, there's new awards too. Um, so this is the uh, most points in the AHL. Um, most valuable player is Spencer Mahachek. Um, most goals. Um, most outstanding rookie. Best defenseman. Goalie. And then goalie. And then is that... Yeah, I don't think we have anything else here. Yeah, we don't have anything else there. So we got a few, we got a few trophies. That's all cool and dandy. Let's go ahead and let's see, um, actually let's go to GM options here and see what the top prospects game was. Uh, let's go to scouting and let's see pro top prospects player game stats here. And let's go by points here and let's just see. So Zweep is a 61 overall already. Um, how old is he? Let's see if we can view him. Uh, you press what to view him. Let's see, you can't. I don't think you can actually view them. So Zweep is a 61. Um, just trying to remember some of these overalls. So this guy's in 63 overall. Christophe Lalonde. Uh, 64 for Pete Trainer. So he seems to be the highest overall. Sam Reinhardt's a player I'm definitely interested in there. Um, I'm sure Ekblad's probably going to be in here as well. Um, let's see. So Connor Sills, 50. Alright, so there's lots of really good players in here. Um, wow, actually no, no Ekblad, which may mean he, he'll fall to us. 62 overall goalie, actually, that's not bad at all. So, let's go ahead, and I guess the top overall players were that goalie. Um, and then, um, DePap, um, Ruse, Rupert, um, that guy, Fioretti, Zach Hall at 60 overall. And is that it for this team? That is it for the white team. So there's a 60. 61 is Weep, who's a grinder. Um, let's see. Lalonde is a 63 overall sniper. That might not be bad at all. Um, and then Trainer's actually 64, left wing, two way forward. So both of those could be good picks. We'll just have to watch out for them. And then Sam Reinhardt, 60 overall. And wait, is that? Oh yeah, Ekblad's a 58. So Ekblad's not bad at all. And then Mistyle's a 58. So lots of really high overalls actually heading into the draft, which is today. Let's go ahead and let's see um, free agency, and let's just go ahead and let's see uh, who the free agents for our team are. Um, upcoming off season. Let's go ahead and let's see who's actually out there this year. So Gabrick, the Sedins are actually free agents. They'll probably get signed, but let's see if there's any younger players out here. 
Uh, Louis LeBlanc, Phil Kessel might be someone we target actually. Uh, Cody Franson as well. Cody Franson could be a huge boost to the team. And I think that's about it. I don't think we can sign any. Oh yeah, we can look at contracts here. And let's go ahead and see who has a contract in 2014-15. So no one major. Um, I don't think can we actually qualify anything? No, we can't. Uh, Dallas, no, wait, we want Dallas, and then rookie goalies. So we gotta qualify Sateri. So we actually are pretty good on all fronts except for Sateri and Salak. Um, and then realistically, Campbell, we want to resign. Uh, we could trade away a Duya for something low, like a seventh round pick. Uh, Salo as well. Um, and then Manta. Manta is actually someone we could keep. So, got a very. The cap hits very, very low. And the salary cap. We got about 20 million to play with. So, we could actually get both Sedins on our team, maybe. Who knows? So, let's go ahead and let's go draft some players here. Let's begin this NHL entry draft here. Bit of a longer introduction, but we have the 17th overall pick. Let's go ahead and let's see who we have for trade. Um, we want a, let's go years left. Who has one year left on their deal? Um, Oduya. Oduya is someone that we could probably get a little bit for here. Uh, let's just see if we can get like a late seventh round pick or something. Let's just get a seventh round pick for him. We're not gonna re-sign him, so. Ah, it was worth a try. So I don't think we're really going to get anyone. Let's see if we have anyone with two years left who we don't really need. Um, years left, we want two. So we got Hillen. No one with really a ton of overall that we're really too worried about yet. Um, Yakupov, do they show the new overalls yet? So he's an 84 right now. He'll probably go up, but the fact he's an 84 is pretty impressive already. So... Um, yeah, let's shut down the phones here, and let's go ahead and let's draft things out. Let's see where everyone falls into place. Let's quick sim here. So it looks like we're going to be left with the left winger we wanted, I think. I think. Let's go by potential here. It takes a while to sort, if I remember correctly. Oh, we gotta start one one more time. Must fan Heuenheisen. There we go. Great name right there. And yes, that is how you pronounce it. Uh, D'Angelo. No, we wanted that left winger. I forget what he was called. Wasn't Fioretti. Uh, it was Lalonde. So he was already a 64 overall, and he is only a three and a half potential. D'Angelo looks like the only guy with a high potential. Um, maybe we could trade up for him. Let's see what his stats are. So he's got, wow, he's got 93 speed. Uh, defense, but we really don't need defense. Let's go ahead and let's take this 63 overall sniper, I think. Uh, the other guy was a two-way forward left wing. They're both left wings, so let's look at left wings. And let's see if actually that goalie's there. Um, so is this guy, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see goalies. Uh, let's see if we get anyone... I don't think they'll have potential, but uh, Dupuis, yeah, neither one of these guys were the guys I was thinking of, so um, let's go ahead, and so we have Zweb, who doesn't have, seem, we don't have his potential, but I know this guy, our potential seemed to be off, kind of, I know he's a 63 overall, let's go ahead and let's pick him. I really wanted Sam Reinhardt, but again, couldn't really take him, so uh, let's see if there's going to be any trades. There are no trades to happen, so let's quick sim this up to here. Uh, Fear Ready was the other guy, I think, but uh, let's go ahead and, as always, we'll kind of go by potential here. Because potential seems to be the way to go, so. Um, Jesse Forsberg. And we want youth and. Um, youth and potential is kind of the way to go. It's the second round. Uh, right D, he's 21, he's too old. And let's see what his stats are. Um, so roughly, again, he's defense. We kind of want someone, we got some centers, I think. Um, 
but let's look at the forwards anyways. Let's see, let's see who has the highest potential left that we've actually scouted here. Oh man, there's we didn't do a good job of scouting, I don't think. Um, yeah, let's go by, I guess, projections. Because that's really all we have. Um, let's take the youngest player that's the highest projection. 19... I want to take a bit of a risk here. 19 left wing. Um, Sweden. Left wing. He'll probably be decent overall to begin with. Let's go ahead and let's try... Nah, I don't think... I think he's too low. We just got to make a pick here. Um, let's try this guy. We're taking Klein here. Again, I forgot the rest of the overall, so it doesn't really help me out. No one coming in for a trade. Let's quick sim this, and let's see who's left. Let's go ahead and let's take this straw mall guy. Again, you go for kind of youth in these drafts, because the younger they are, the better. I need to do scouting next year, because scouting seems to really, really help, um, and it takes very little time. But let's go ahead and let's see the goalies. Goalies, fifth round, projection. He's 6'2. It's 5'9, 19. Defenseman, any good defenseman left? Marcellius Subban. Eh. Don't really want to draft a Subban brother, but he's, he's 18. He's probably one of the youngest players left here. 19 defensive D. Um, you know what? We're going to go ahead and we're going to take him. I think we're going to go a little bit off the board there. And hopefully he pans out. Alright, continue, continue. And shut down the phones. So, quick sim. Goliga, if we're still there. Wow. Let's go ahead and again, kind of just going off by what I think. Center sniper. Uh, he might not be bad. 18 right wing sniper. I'm going to take him. He's 18, so um, should be good. The younger they are, again, the better chances um, they have of turning out to be worth, worth more trade value. It's just one of those weird things in this game um, where age kind of does mean a lot. Let's go with league interest here. And let's see, league interest is high. Let's sort by overalls. Let's just take the highest potential we have left on the board, which is going to be Fairy, who's kind of not exactly great. Um, let's say gray, gray wall or gray wall. There we go. One more pick left here. Again, we got we got a guy we wanted in the first round there, so a little bit off the board, but he did seem to show some promise there. He is a 60 plus overall already. Let's go ahead and let's grab this fairy guy. He's got a good first name too, so why not? Um, so I didn't mind our draft there. I wish we would have had a bit of a higher pick, but next year's probably McDavid's year, so let's go ahead and let's sim up to the re-signing phase here. And we're gonna go ahead and see what all our overalls are if they got bumped up already. I think they get bumped up after. Uh, go to contract screen. Actually, we're just going to try to negotiate. No, they, no one's actually gotten anything yet. Let's go ahead and let's see here. So, Salo, what does he want? Um, he wants 3.3 .3 for four years, and he's 39, really? Uh, Ghani is 34. If you want something, like, minimal, 2.2. You know what? It's not bad. Um, I'm sure you could probably get something for him. And let's go ahead and let's give him about, let's give him exactly more or less what he wants. I try to do more or less what they want. Um, let's give him this offer. One year, 2.35, and we'll probably just unload him for something. Uh, Aduya, we'll see what he wants. He might just want very little here. Um, three year deal, we'll give him a one year deal even. And I'm sure we'll be able to pick up like a later draft pick for him or something like that. Um, so let's see here. And then Gregory Campbell. Campbell's always a guy I want to resign. It's because he is very, very good. And 
go ahead and let's try to lock him up long term. What does he want for a one year deal? Let's go ahead and let's sign him up for two years at 1.06. And RFA Anthony Manta, what does he want? Hopefully very little. Let's do a three year deal at that. I am perfectly fine with that. Sounds good with me. And then, so let's look at our overall. So 40, 51. Wow, he's actually a 57 overall. Not bad, a three star potential. Uh, the long guy's four, three and a half at a 63, and he's already 20. Uh, let's go ahead. Actually, this Klein guy is pretty good too. Four and a half, 58, only 20. So Lalonde, let's go ahead and let's give him a qualifying offer of six million for three years. Ink the first overall draft pick here, and then we're gonna actually ink Klein as well here, and hopefully get him in the system right away. Just give him the minimum contract. It's not bad. And we're also going to get Strawmall in here. Hopefully get them into our prospect system pretty fast. There we go. So we got those three doing good for us. And then um, I think everything else is, everyone else is pretty much signed here. Let's go ahead and let's look at the goalies here. Because I know we do have to re-sign Harry Sateri. Um, let's see what he wants here. Probably very little. Yeah, I can, I can deal with that. We'll give him a one-year deal at 5.8. 5.65, there we go. Keep that cap hit down a little bit, and then rookie skaters. Um, and then let's actually see what uh, Stalock wants. And we'll just actually sign him as well. We can always unload him for very cheap. There we go. So let's advance the date, and let's see if anyone else actually re-signs here. Hopefully they do, but... Um, oh wow, it actually has a sim date in the bottom left corner. I just pointed at the bottom left corner of the screen like you could actually see it, you know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, let's see. So we got a lot of players to resign here. Our cap hit should go up a little bit. Um, I think we have enough to fit all 15 million in here, which is pretty good. And then I think we, I don't know if you can actually resign players uh, in their final year of their contract in this or not, but... It'd be really cool if you are. It did. So Harry Sateri resign, 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 resign. There we go. There we go. And we're all good. So let's go ahead and everyone is resigned. So let's go ahead and let's actually advance to free agency where we will catch up in the next episode. So anyways, guys, as always, take it easy and peace out.